Hi, welcome all. We are Team Horizons and today we are going to present the business presentation of our firm SS Motors in the Startup India category under the guidance of Professor Santosh Patel for Navrachana 2020, conducted by Sri Vaishnav Vidyapeet Vishwavidyale, Indore. Our company, SS Motors, is a private limited firm with a vision to enhance a racing sports culture in India by developing a fundamental socio-economic culture in the field of racing. Our main objective is to develop motorsport racing as an emerging sport in our country among the young generation and generate employment. The services provided by us include complete go-kart with customer-demanded customizations and go-kart driving tutorials. This business plan is fundamentally targeted on the aspects of gaining trust and worthy contacts to satisfy our customers in every possible manner in the field of automotive technology, with real-time assistance to all the clients, be it technical or on-field assistance. With gained trust and reputation, the company is focused to diversify and enhance customers' needs and to get the maximum profit which is the prime motto of our startup. The following business plan deals with the aspects of merging socio-economic sustainable development with the foundation of racing culture encompassing the fundamental approach of an enhanced customer-company relationship. The product offered is capable of effective performance ensuring a better check on redefining the racing culture and generation of better market vision. As a private limited company, all the executive board members and the workers will work on a salary basis to maximize the profit by eliminating profit distribution among the partners. The company registration will be done by the rules and regulations of the Department of Commerce and Industry, India and will be done in steps according to their procedure which will also include the acquirement of director identification number and digital signature certificate and will be followed by loan withdrawal from the bank as per the norms. The technical specifications of our product are as follows. The vehicle consists of a 200cc, 4-stroke engine, which delivers a maximum power output of 27.53 PS at 9,500 revolutions per minute. The drive type is a chain drive system with a manual transmission system. The top speed of the vehicle is 135 km per hour, with a total weight of 105 kg. Here, you can also have a look at various standard views of the vehicle. Despite not having a popular history, the go-karts emerged in India in 2003 by MRF, which has a 250cc two-stroke engine, producing 15 bhp of power, which costs around Rs 3 lakhs. Since then, multiple companies have started manufacturing go-karts in the country. As per our market research, the potential customers lies between the age group of 14 to 30 years. Considering other competitors in the market, our main areas of selling will be fun zones, amusement parks, hotels and resorts, and racing institutions. An operational plan is a highly detailed plan that provides a clear picture of how a team, section, or department will contribute to the achievement of the organization's goals. The operational plan maps out the day-to-day -day tasks required to run a business. The production scheme shown in the given table enlightens the details of all divisions associated with a vehicle manufacturing operation along with the time and manpower required. The items required in the manufacturing phase are further segregated by their mode of arrangement that is either imported or manufactured in-house. A factory layout is an arrangement of machines and equipment within a factory which includes the layout of departments within the factory site, the layout of machines within the departments, and the layout of individual workplaces. Our layout represents all the departments along with the workflow between them. From inventory, the workflow goes to manufacturing shops and then it progresses towards assembly operations. If any defects or failure befalls during vehicle testing, it is further addressed by the R&D department and at the end, the product moves to dispatch. 
The manufacturing process workflows detail the granular activity level steps that must be completed to create finished goods from the time raw materials are received at the manufacturing facility until those materials are turned into finished goods. It is started from the designing of the vehicle and moves towards material requirement planning and mass production after proper analysis and validation of the design. The produced vehicle is further tested and finally, it is provided to the customer. This slide incorporates a detailed representation of the machines that needed to be procured in the initial year of production. After that, the old machinery's depreciation and maintenance cost is also calculated along with the addition of new ones. Here, we displayed the material procurement and depreciation cost for the first three years of production. The finance table is a comprehensive description of all the profits and expenses associated with the firm. To initialize the production, an opening capital of 60 lakh rupees is gathered with the help of a loan of 45 lakhs rupees and a personal investment of rupees 15 lakhs. For the first year, the average sales per month will be 18 vehicles which will gradually increase during consecutive production years. The cost price and selling prices are rupees 67,201 lakhs 7,000 respectively. This provides us with an annual profit of rupees 85 lakhs 96,800 from sales. The operating expenses such as lease, marketing, transport, machine installation and depreciation costs us Rs. 46,40,484 in the first year. After providing the warranty costs and the annual wages to the employees a total amount of Rs. 44,21,796 is left in hand which can be used as the opening capital for the next year. The turnover for the first year is Rs. 2 crores 31,12,000. Similarly, finance is shown for the next years. In the fifth year, the average monthly sales have been increased to 55 vehicles and the annual profit of 4 crores 95 lakhs rupees is obtained from sales. After reducing the operating expenses and wages, a total amount of rupees 3 crores 80 lakhs 7916 is left in hand with a total turnover of rupees 8 crores 91 lakhs after 5 years. Break-even analysis entails the calculation and examination of the margin of safety for an entity based on the revenues collected and associated costs. Analyzing different price levels relating to various levels of demand a business uses break-even analysis to determine what level of sales are necessary to cover the company's total fixed costs. The break-even point will arrive after the sale of 151 units and the break-even period will be obtained after 254 days. The graph here indicates the increment of the turnover over the first five years. The targeted customers are also mentioned in the slide along with the offline and online mode of publicity. This particular slide shows the distribution of the total selling cost of the vehicle in the form of the cost associated with the various steps in mass production. Another chart here shows the department-wise distribution of expenses. Providing useful information to the customer in a concise manner is a sign of good marketing. Here, we have listed the marketing strategies to promote our product efficiently to increase sales. A proper set of unique selling propositions always attracts the customer towards a product. Here, we have proposed some of our USPs such as vehicle customization as per driver needs, theft protection feature, GPS tracker and some unique driver safety features. SWOT analysis is a strategic planning technique used to help a person or organization identify strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats related to business competition. Here, we have enlisted these aspects of our business. The four P's of marketing are the key factors that are involved in the marketing of a good or service. They are the product, price, place, and promotion related to a product. Our analysis points promotion and place for all of our products at their selling prices. The impacts of a company on society are always responsible for its sustainable growth. By providing employment and promoting the motorsports as a choice of career development, we are making a great impact on society. Motorsports also lead to road safety by changing the mindset of a young driver, and high-profile drivers can become excellent role models for responsible driving. This industry has always made a breakthrough in technological advancement, providing many benefits to society. This slide entitles Corporate Social Responsibilities of our firm. We are also acting on the environmental impacts by adopting green solutions. Here, we have also enlisted some of the government policies that are advantageous for this startup. 
This document offers an effective and efficient analysis and approach of sustainable visionary support to automotive technology and ensuring better performance at micro and macro levels customer company relationship, building racing awareness in youth generation of our nation. At last, we would like to acknowledge all for providing us with this opportunity to present this plan. Thank you.